So I've been in Cusco for a couple of weeks, but I haven't really done much here because my friends are coming here in November and we're supposed to do everything together. But a guy I know here was telling me about the Temple of the Moon and it's like this cave or archeological site up in the hills near here. And at night, like the moonlight shines in through a hole in the ceiling. And the way he explains it, it sounds very mystical. So definitely want to check it out. We were going to organize a group of people to go do it together, but everyone else backed out. So I'm kind of on my own now. So I don't know if it's advised or not, but we're going up into the hills at night. Um, I won't get lost, but is it safe? We'll find out. So if you're seeing this video, it means my phone didn't get stolen. Uh, and besides, you know what a cautious fellow I am. I still get very out of breath here. I mean, from my apartment to the city center is like a slight uphill the whole way, like 35 minute walk. But then like once you get to the hills, it's very steep. That's kind of sort of what I'm doing right now. So I'm out of breath, I'm tired, but I don't think the hard part's even started yet. I'm still in the city. So as I said, I've never been there before. I've never been outside the city walking, so I don't know what any of these hills look like. One of my maps says this site is 35 minutes away, and one of my maps says it's more than an hour away by walking. So who knows? We'll find out. But I am still in the city right now. I haven't really got into the hills yet, and that'll be the interesting part, I think. Hey, doggo. What is that? It has no face. Well, there's a car's tail light over there. I'm looking at a field right now, but you can't see anything. It's pretty dark. So I do have a headlamp, but I'm not using it right now because I'm in some field, and I don't know if it's a person's field, like a private area. But when we get to the caves, I'll probably pull out the light there if I need it. All right, we hit a snag. Um, I crossed all the way across that field, and there's like a fence here. So I got to find a way over it. It's a short fence. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, shit. This is, so this is an archaeological site right here. This is not exactly what I was looking for, but uh, I know there's a bunch up in these hills. So... Let's get a light and see. Oh, hey, I'm there. Templo de la Luna. You guys can't see this, but I'm inside a cave right now. The lighting is awful. Oh yeah, so my dumbass was on the low light feature, so now it's a lot brighter. <laughs> yeah, okay, now you can see it. But this is not the cave, this is just a cave. bit of a drop. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm wearing minimalist shoes, so when you land on a rock, it fucking hurts. 
Okay, that's where I just came from, and they didn't have that sign on the other side. Sorry. Well, this one didn't say prohibited, but it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. There's a second one that says prohibited. So I think I took a stupid route through the horse field and I came to the back side of the site. So I'm gonna finish walking around the back side and then go to maybe where the front side is and hopefully that's where the main cave is. Otherwise, I don't know where to go. Obviously it was very hard to see what I was looking at in the dark. There were some small structures on the bottom and then the main site was kind of like a big hill or a mound. And then I was kind of exploring the interior of little parts of that. And as I walked around the hill, I eventually found what looked like a little trail leading to the top of it. All right, so I got up to the top of the uh, hill here and it turns out there's a big group of people, like a tour group maybe, or like they're doing a ceremony because they're all sitting in a circle with one person talking. I couldn't understand what they're saying. Uh, but I'm far enough away now where I can do some recording. I didn't want to disturb whatever they're doing. Uh, so I'm not alone here. Okay, that was definitely a ceremony of some sort. There was uh, some drumming and chanting and other things going on later. I'm gonna head back down. Alright, so, um, that was cool. I didn't find the cave that I was expecting to find, but it was a fun little adventure. Random stuff. Didn't know they had a ceremony. That was kind of cool to see, but at the same time, like, it'd be more special for me when there's not a bunch of people there. So, um, hey, now I know where it is. Maybe I'll bring my friends back when they come here next month. Um, and my foot really hurts. So maybe that was a learning experience, not to go down weird cave tunnels at night. Nah, who am I kidding? I didn't learn anything from that experience. I'd do it again. That was cool. I'll see you in the next adventure. All right, I'm back on a paved road with some street lights, so it's easier to walk and talk. Uh, here's a crazy idea. Maybe we check out some of these sites during the daytime to see how they look. Stand by for that. See you next time. Oh, that's too bad. They're really getting after it up there. I can, I mean, I'm quite a ways away now, but I can really hear the, they're blowing on some horns and banging on the drums a lot louder. I should have stayed. Well, now I know, gotta come back again, but. When? When do I come back again? 